us and I'm for our country. You know, I'm going to now introduce a Katie. She's not our Katie, but she's a new friend of our family here. Katie Farrell is passionate about food and faith. She is the author of Dashing Dish and Devotionals for a Healthier You. Katie, welcome to Real Life. We're glad you're here. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm honored to be here. Oh. Well, it's our pleasure to have you come and be part of the family. We right. have a family that watches us. We're we're just not a television program. We're part of a bigger group of people. And always good to bring new people into the family and to talk about health because health is very important. Tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get? Now you're young. You're still young. You still got that youth and vitality going on, but what made you start thinking about eating right and exercising and doing all the nutritional stuff? Well, really it started when I was about 14 years old. I actually went through eating disorders as a young girl and a teenager. Wow. Okay. And so part of my healing really took place in the kitchen as the Lord really started to give me a passion for learning how to cook and learning how to make foods that are good for our bodies. And so I started to have a newfound passion for treating our bodies right in, in a godly way. And also, I went to nursing school and so became a registered nurse and really learning about the human body and how detailed and intricate that God made it gave me a desire to really take care of this amazing gift that He's given us. So along with your issues, your personal challenges that you had, you had a faith that you said that God showed you how to take the next steps. Was it just in your prayer time, or how did that all evolve? Really, that is the key. It was in my personal walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a great Christian home, but it wasn't until I started to seek the Lord in my own life personally and really say, okay, God, I know the answer is in your word. That's where I found everything and the answer to everything I was struggling with in life. And so I started to dive in, and the Lord revealed to me in Romans 12, 2, which says, Don't conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm. Then you will know my good, acceptable, and perfect will for your life. Mm. And I knew that renewing my mind with His Word was truly the key to finding freedom in every area of our life. That's really great, because I know there's a lot of young ladies and men that are really struggling with their body shapes and eating, and we were talking about that at the beginning of the program, how we don't always make good choices. How are your recipes different? Well, my recipes, my cookbook is called 100 Recipes for Clean Eating, and clean eating is really just, it, it's as simple as you make it. It's just about taking all the processed foods out of our recipes and out of our diets. And when I talk about processed, the thing that I tell people to stay away from are white sugar, white flour, get rid of the white stuff first because it's really so processed and man-made, it has no nutrition. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the white and try to be fresh. Mm -hmm. yeah. stay, out of the, stay out of the freezer section as much as possible. Well, I'm looking forward to a recipe. You're going you're gonna to cook something for us in the second half of this program. So I'm looking forward to that recipe. And tell us about your family. Are you, are you married? Do you have children? I am married. I've been married to my high school sweetheart for almost seven years oh, now. Yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah, and we don't have kids yet, but we that's the next step. <laughs> <laughs> but I hear an accent, so tell us where you're from. We're from Michigan. Okay, so. so I heard that accent. I did. Well, you know, I was on your website, so we, we need to mention not only do you have a recipes, but you have a website. Can you share it? You have different aspects. I found that really intriguing. Yeah, our website is called Dashing Dish, and on our website we have meal plan um, builders, so you can, I think a lot of people have struggled with actually putting healthy meals together. Mm -hmm. It's not about, you know, making the recipe. It's going to the grocery store, bringing home all the stuff, and actually figuring out how do I put this into Absolutely. recipes throughout the mm -hmm. week. So we have a meal plan builder that builds your grocery list based on our, off of our recipes, and then it makes a meal plan for you so you can kind of print it out, See what you're having for the week and get organized. That's awesome. You're not going to ask him. I love that. Yeah, I know. That's that's part of the biggest really part of the do. job is putting the food mm -hmm. together Absolutely. and then going and get a shopping list. That's great. So all the experience you've had so far in the kitchen, what is your favorite dish to cook? I always get asked that. And, you know, it's changing all the time. But my personal favorite has to be anything with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a chocolate one-minute cake in my cookbook, cookbook. And it's really amazing because it's one single portion. You put it in the microwave for one minute. 
And there you go. You have a perfectly portioned dessert, which is so important because yes. oftentimes you want to eat the whole cake if you make a big cake, right? Right, that's so. right. I, when I did Weight Watchers years ago, that was their big thing, were portion control. Mm -hmm. I like that. You just make it for a single serving. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So I'm kind, of, I'm kind of a little bit lost now, Katie. We're talking about eating healthy, and <laughs> eating fresh, <laughs> eating whole, and you tell me about a minute chocolate cake. Uh, Give me something else. What, uh, what, what about a healthy uh, uh, protein? Give me a protein dish. Okay, I have pizza lasagna, and that's made with zucchini noodles instead of regular white right, yeah. noodles. And so you just cut the zucchini into strips, and there you go, you have the noodles. And so that's just really what I teach people at Dashing Dish is that you don't have to always eat salads or plain chicken breasts mm -hmm. in order to eat clean or eat healthy. In fact, anything that you bake, you can just swap out oat flour, so old-fashioned oats, the oatmeal that we all know is good for us, right. mm -hmm. for white flour. You that's just put them in your idea. blender, grind them up, and make a flour, mm -hmm. and you have oat flour. That's what I noticed in a couple of your recipes, that you used oatmeal and you processed it and you made these single portion kind of um, like chicken something or tuna or turkey and I don't know what they were called pot pie was one enchilada was another I thought right. that's really clever to do it that way I really thought that was awesome and you also have like on your website a workouts mm -hmm. workout videos which I thought that's really you can go there you're a one-stop shop and that's what I try to do is incorporate all the different aspects of health and that's why I even include devotionals because mm -hmm. I believe that being a spirit soul and body we have to touch on all aspects of our health and it's not just taking care of our bodies but it's really learning how to nourish our souls as well absolutely absolutely well, the, Bible, mm -hmm. the Bible tells us that you know our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and so if we don't clean the temple you know mm -hmm. figuratively and symbolically and literally then we're not the best we can be. It's mm -hmm. true. You know, and I, I, my heart breaks for all the people that have uh, medical issues that spring from dietary causes. Yeah. You know, like diabetes, for instance. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. So many people, and, and a lot of our young people are getting uh, onset, uh, adult type 2 diabetes early in life mm -hmm. because they're just not eating right. Mm -hmm. They're not making those kinds of choices. And I don't know who's, uh, I'm not trying to make anybody at fault. It's just the culture that we live in the fast food culture that takes us and puts garbage in our bodies and our bodies responds by creating mm -hmm. problems. So how do you, as a, as a food person, as a nurse, as a food person, what, how do you encourage families to start making those kinds of better decisions? Because mm -hmm. moms are working, some moms are single moms. Half of the people are single moms. They got a job and nobody else to help them. Yeah. What, what, what can they do? Mm -hmm. Well, I always encourage people, don't try and change your entire lifestyle overnight. Mm -hmm. Do it in one simple step at a time. If you can change one thing, like taking sugar out of your diet and replacing it with a natural sweetener, for example, that one step is a baby step towards reaching an overall goal of a healthy lifestyle. Absolutely. And then that way, if you make small changes over time, then it's a new lifestyle you've created rather than just a diet or a quick fix. Mm -hmm. And also, we've created tools, like I mentioned, to try and make the whole process easier because we know that not everyone has that as a natural ability to be able to think ahead and plan out and prepare healthy meals. Well, we're right. so glad you're here with us. Yes. I'm looking forward to you going into the kitchen and, and doing whatever you're going to do today. <laughs> we always like to have samples. So That's we'll, right. We'll wait, we'll wait for the samples. And I'm oh, glad yeah. you're here with us, too, that you joined us be part of Cornerstone's ministry, part of real life. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a truth in this that we need to take to heart, that our bodies are our vessels. Mm -hmm. and we have to take care of our vessels. If we don't take care of our vessels, they're going to break down. You can't be what God wants you to be if you're sick. Mm -hmm. You can't be fully what you want to be if you, if you don't have the right mind, the right mentality. So stay tuned. We're going to go into the recipe with Katie. Some good news coming up and some music some music that's going to be a blessing to you. So stay with us. Don't go away. Remember, that's what we do real life. That's why we do the program is to show to you practical ways to walk in an abundant life. Jesus promised abundant life. We want to walk in his promises. Thank you for being our partner. Thank you for being our friends. We'll see you then.